Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. Uh, we started this morning off by playing a little Poyo Tetris. Um, I am not as good as Paul. Nothing has really changed there. Paul, Paul was still uh, good at kicking butt. Uh, Lindsay actually joined us and we played a little bit and you actually did pretty good. Yeah. I mean, once we figured out the handicaps, I did okay. Yeah, but you, well, I don't know. I'm not convinced that you need a, a handicap so much on Poyo. You just need a little more practice, but I think you're yeah. going to do, you'll, you do fine. Um, so we, we came out to get some lunch at Johnny D's, and there was a lot of people here, and we were like, man, why are there so many people here? Oh, it's Sunday. And then we realized, no, wait, it's Father's Day. And it is. It's Father's Day, and the restaurant is pretty packed. There's, there's a lot of folks here, but um, we just got our food. Everything looks really, really fantastic. Okay. You got the chicken fajita? Fajita omelet. Fajita omelet. What are those? It's called the Chunky Monkey Pancake, so it's walnuts, bananas, and chocolate drizzle. Oh, that's amazing. I'm not a big banana person, but those sound good. I know what that is. Yep. Wax and onion uh, benedict. That looks amazing. And then I got a uh, blueberry waffle. So I haven't tried this before, but I suspect it'll probably be very good. Unfortunately, our time has come to an end with Paul, uh, who has got to get going because he's like... You have a flight and you have to drive to get to the flight. Yep. But uh, it was it was great hanging out with you and I know we're gonna see you again at some point. Uh, yeah, we should. So so I'll be in the area at some point. We will see you again and we will play more of the many board games that we still have in the wrapper. <laughs> you gonna miss you gonna miss Paul? No. He says, well, he, he never gave me food, even though I screamed outside of his door at night. Mm -hmm. Is this the new one? This is the new one. Oh, this is the new one. They're getting rid of cadmium. Oh, you I thought you I it. thought you meant it was the new blue. Oh, no, 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 no. No no one's giving out the new blue. No. Yeah, that's going to be... Was it Yemen? Y-I-M-I-N? Yeah, people probably have no idea what that is. They discovered a new blue pigment, and I really wish I could get a tube of it, but it's like $20 for like this much. <laughs> yeah. Well, at some point it'll be more widely available. Yeah, someday. But there's the people are uh, phasing out cadmium because it's... Yeah, this company is really getting into phasing out cadmium. You can okay. still get it, but they're like, check out our new non-cadmium paints. Yeah. Is that the one that's dangerous? Well, most... There's a few mo are. Most paints are dangerous, actually, but cadmium specifically is like... Cadmium uh, and cobalt. Yeah, super... Yep. Super cancer. Yeah. Painting is, painting is fun. See, but you do cadmium you free. You have to be careful when you're touching that stuff too, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Mal yeah. tries not to touch it. Man, it looks like that's looks like this is more dangerous, Mal. Painting with any of no, stuff? no. For Father's Day, we came over to my parents' house. Happy Father's Day, by the way. You're you're a father, and it's your day on Father's Day. Thanks father to you. Time. You're almost <laughs> Father Time. <laughs> um, and. Uh, the, the, we have some new uh, things that are coming in for, for Dad to, to work on his painting stuff. And they they occasionally send you, if you order stuff from Blick, occasionally they'll send you little samples. When like, you order their canvases, samples. if you buy enough, they'll send you a sample. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he got some, some things to potentially try. Uh, we, went, uh, we went out and had a, a quick bite to eat. Nothing, nothing super, super fancy, just because uh, actually while we were having breakfast, brunch, etc. They also had breakfast, brunch. Uh, they went to the uh, House of Blues uh, gospel brunch thing. We've been there before on the vlog. Um, it's it's good, but the problem is it's a huge buffet and you get super full. So uh, we actually ate a lot at Johnny D's this morning. So all four of us weren't super, super hungry. So we just got a tiny bite to eat, but we're gonna have some coffee and uh, just enjoy the evening. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to see you paint more. He did those for me for our anniversary. Yeah, my parents just celebrated their anniversary. My dad did these. And then he just recently did this one, which is uh, exciting because um, it's abstract. And uh, I've always loved things that uh, you know are, are, are abstract. And uh, it, it's fun to I guess see someone's creative process uh, outside of um, you know, the traditional form. I went to art school and I had to learn to talk like that. <laughs> it was terrible. Someone saved me. 
So today was a, uh, a really good day. Um, we've had a fun weekend with Paul, and uh, like he said, we're going to see him again because uh, it sounds like work is probably going to bring him back this way. So we'll be hanging out again maybe in a few months. Um, although actually, we will see him next month because of Thomas's party, uh, assuming we... Assuming we make it there, and I think we will. I don't know if we talked about that on the vlog yet. Thomas is having a party. That's the, that's really the quick and dirty version. Thomas is having a party. Uh, lots of folks are invited, uh, including folks who live far away. And uh, some of those folks are talking about going, including us. So we might go down to Florida and, um, and be a part of that next month. And then today was also, you know, Father's Day, which uh, I had bought a card for. So I gave my dad a card. But um, I, I forgot when I woke up that it was Father's Day. If I had known that, we may have left for Johnny D's a little bit early. But Paul still, you know, made it to the to his flight and stuff in time, so it was fine. Um, anyway, what I'm doing now, we're ending off the day with some ice cream. We actually we bought some ice cream um, while Paul was here. So uh, us and and him and Lindsay and Dan had some ice cream the other night. And there's a little bit left, and I was like, you know what would be really nice? If we did root beer floats. And I was like, I haven't had a root beer float in forever. That sounds really delicious. Uh, they're not good for you, but I haven't had one in forever, therefore it's okay. So we actually stopped, on the way home from my parents' house, we stopped at the gas station and picked up a thing of um, a and root beer. So we can actually do root beer floats. Get in there. And uh, that's how we're going to end our day. So... Day was already pretty good, and I mean, ending on a river flow is kind of hard to beat, so I'm excited about that. Is that good? Does that look like? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. There's, there's, you know, <laughs> fairly sizable a part of a amount of ice cream in there. There's still a little bit left, but I could probably finish it up like soon-ish. So let me do that. Do you use a straw or do you just like drink it? Um, I drink it so I don't have to get a straw. Okay. Da, 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 That's the only root beer they had. It's true. I'm of the camp that if you're gonna bother drinking root beer, IBC is a good choice. Of course, uh, we talked about recently on um, breakfast stream, but like if you ever get a chance to actually have root beer on tap, on draft, uh, at like a bar or something, holy crap, is it good. Like, it, I'm not like a root beer guy either. Like I, I prefer cola or tea, um, things like that. Like root beer's fine, but if you can get it at a bar on draft, like get it, it immediately trumps anything you've ever had in, in the soda world. So um, it's good stuff. You ready? I'm excited. This is gonna be It'd be delicious. It's been a while. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's be back tomorrow. Shall we? I love the sound.